Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Scott, well, you know, stranger to, to big wins, but I mean, this is, uh, you know, on ESPN, history-making type performance, and it was a, an incredible fight. So give me, give me an idea what the emotions like for you right now. The old guy, the old man, <laughs> already, already a super fight. Ah, I feel good. This game is so crazy, man. The highs, the highs, highs, and the lows, lows. Um, everyone keeps asking me, like, what have you been doing lately? Different. Put you on the winning. Nothing. Done nothing different. You know, just winning and losing is a byproduct of performing well. You know, sometimes I knew the night before walking out it was going to be a good night just by the way I felt. You know, and it's, everyone knows, man. What cowboy are you getting in there? You getting this cowboy? Are you getting the shit cowboy? Because I knew tonight was the good one. I just knew. I felt walking out like you know. Um, so not a secret. I wish I had the secret recipes. But like I said, forty, I've had over 50, 60 fights. You know. Um, so yeah, I feel good. I feel great actually. Um, yeah, I'm back at fifty-five. <laughs> Worst weight cut ever. But uh, I'm back. <laughs> was that was it particularly bad? No, like no. They, I mean, it, it, it just sucks. Yeah, like 65, no problem. I could die at 65. 60, now we're, that's when it sucks. Yeah, from 60 to 55, it's worst case scenario. Like, I just don't have any left. I'm not, I'm just a skinny little fucker. I was like, damn. But, uh, yeah. Did you see Connor tweet the button? I did. My team showed me that. So, um, that'd be cool. Um, the fight goes through. So I can't get my head cut by He dictates everything, man. I just can say yes. I'll fight. Well, I can't say I'll fight anybody anymore because now I told my team that I was taking it easy. So I want a top five guy. Connor's two, right? So I think he's top five to me. Um, he's a pretty master at talking shit, so I'm sure he'll try and get under my skin. I was gonna say, I mean, you, you know, you've always said, hey, the Nate Diaz fight was a big lesson for you. But I mean, this this kid this week, I mean, the things he was saying, things he was doing, was it a test? You know, was it a test for you to to try to make sure you didn't get emotional and, and not let him get to you? Oh no, I mean, like today, I was happy and like nothing he said, but at the press conference, cutting weight, irritable, dude, listen to me, little fucker. You know, like that's what they felt. <laughs> I even said something about my like wife or kid. I would have ripped his fucking heart out right there. Yeah, like I'm not a guy to. It so drives me so crazy how these guys are in the back. We're standing right next to them. They don't say nothing. All of a sudden, they get in front of the cameras, in front of you guys. They can just run. They just free, free speech. No, 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 no. That's not me. I'll fucking track them down. Get the fuck at me. Yeah. That was street fight, motherfucker. I ain't no bright. Um, sorry, that's why you guys do headline. But <laughs> um, so no, I don't. I don't allow that the shit you're doing. Um, but Connor's witty, he's smart, like he has funny, crafty shit, not stupid, you know, but, um, fun. Yeah. If you can get that done, I mean, is it like dates, times, locations, are there things that... possible, yeah. yeah, I mean, yeah, I'd love March, April, you know, anytime then, March, March, middle A, May, sun's out, bring my boat and RV <laughs> to Vegas, I'm sure I'll be in Vegas, yep. or Ireland, let's go, fuck yeah. There's uh, a well, go ahead. Uh, there's a time where I think you and Connor had like a bit of a rivalry at that press conference. I remember, I think he still hey, That's you guys beefing up a rivalry. That us. I was just telling him, watch you how you talk around front of the public, man. It's just, uh, that's what I want to talk about, this young kid. Like, I don't understand why they come in and, like, have some fucking respect. I'm going to fight you the same. Happy, shaking your hand. Like, he Anthony Darryl, man, what a great guy. That fight was so honorable, man. It was cool. He shook my hand. I was like, true professional sports, you know. And it was cool. I'm going to go in there and still try to beat your ass. Like, it doesn't, that, that makes no difference, you know? And I wish these young kids coming into the game, they wouldn't monitor themselves like after the boss of Kobe and try and just, why? Why? Do something that people can follow you on Instagram and kids, or kids walk to you and be you for Halloween. Like, yeah. Cowboy, you know, you walk with your head high and you speak well, you know? And you don't, this is, this is, this is a sporting event. Let's, let's treat it as one. So, is that more important to you now that you have a young son? It's cool. Yeah, it is, to be honest with you, right? Totally. Because um, I used to be the guy flipping everybody off type shit, you know? But <laughs> I still like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah right? Um, so, yeah. Be, be good, kids. <laughs> is it hard to convince your wife to let you... You know, you got like this Partridge family vibe now. The whole family's there. <laughs> right? the cage side she loves it, man. That's cool. Um, yeah, she's almost a doctor, which is really cool, right? That's awesome. Crazy. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. So, she has... 
she's doing clinicals right now, finishing up her last up. So hopefully, when I'm done, I sit back and let her go to work, and I'll maybe I'll just come in and sit in the hospital and watch her work for a little while. You don't need it tonight, but maybe she could do your stitches. Post she does. Fight. She does yeah. me and all the all the guys already. Right. <laughs> I don't say that, but she does. <laughs> don't tell the commission. <laughs> so, so if for whatever, as you said, Connor calls the shots and the sure. schedule, and he's still got to deal with Nevada in a couple of weeks. So if that doesn't happen, what's what's the plan? I mean, is there what, is there the title means something to you now, right? So, I mean, do you, do you feel like there's another fight that would make sense if for some reason that doesn't work? I'll take top eight. I really want top five. Like, I want I want to fight one, win, go for the belt, right? I want that's only two fights away. So, it's kind of why I want top five. I don't want to go whatever I am now. I don't even know if I'm fucking ranked anymore in this world. But wherever I am, I don't want to go ten, eight, not, you know what I mean? I want to just go, let's go five, let's go championship. Let's, let's go get this fucking belt, man. I want to hit 50 fights in Zufa. You know, that's kind of... I sort of always said I wanted 50. I want to go past that, but 50 is kind of what I want. And so I can see the end of this tunnel, guys. At the rate I fight, three or four more years, man, right? So realistically right. Yeah. speaking, so let's go get this fucking belt. <laughs> <laughs> so if you're being more selective with your fights, do you think this is the last time you fight a guy like Alex Hernandez? You know, unless um, he's fucking, yes, I have to answer that with a weak fucking yes, yeah, because. Uh, I want to go in the top five, right? So, you know, I need to be studs. Um, yeah, I have to be. You know, once I once I get this belt, I start fighting for the belt, I'll fight anybody. Then I'll bring all of the gates back up. Let's go. Come on, let's fight every weekend, boys. You always have that attitude throughout your whole career. Like, I'll fight anybody anywhere. At what point did you say, like, okay, I need to be a little bit more selective? Oh, because I, get, I put myself in such jeopardy. Like, I'll go and fight, get into the top five. And then these guys are just, they like to just sit there and like, wait, I don't, I want to keep moving. So I'm like, all right, fine, I'll fucking fight that guy. <laughs> He's not ranked, I don't care. And then he's a little hungry. Anything can happen in this game. Comes and beats me, and then I lose my spot. Like, you mentioned you know, a lot of fights. Do you wish you sort of maybe would have thought of that like no. earlier in your career? Or? Nah, I wouldn't change anything. I just fight for so many different reasons back then. And I would say, but then this kid said, he had a good point. He said, you... It took you 40 fights to realize that you want to fight for a title, and I was like, you, you got me there. <laughs> That's why I just sat there and even handed in there like, mm, that was a good one. you got me there. I'll give it to you. It took me 40 fights to realize this is what I want, and because I was fighting for so many different things back then, like, I just love it. Like, tonight, standing, I walked out a little bit in front of the camera, and there's nowhere out around it then, and it's unbelievable. You get... People cheering your name is super cool, man. And uh, I do this till I can't anymore, literally. And it's fun. So yeah, I got to be a little more selective now. Uh, Bother you to walk out first, right? Uh, only when I was in the cage. Yeah. I was like, wait, wait, bro. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm blue. God, it's been so long since I've been blue. Uh, it only, it didn't bother me. I was just like, oh, this is fucking weird. But um, when I think, hey, I'm not ranked. I need to earn myself. I need to prove yourself. It was just like, hey, man, this is the process. It's like when you very first came to UFC. This is how it works. So, hey, you're back in another division. Let's prove ourselves, Cowboy. That's what I was in right there. Like, let's go. At what point in the night did you uh Said, you realize you were the good cowboy for that. Yeah, the locker room. Oh, man, it was last night when I slept all night through. First night of, first fight I've ever had where I made a whole night's sleep all the way through. Huh. Usually I'm laying in bed, tossing, turning, thinking of everything that could possibly go wrong. And last night, went to bed, woke up feeling good, kicked my boy up, we went on a bunch of subway rides. It was crazy. We just rode the subway around today. And, uh, man, it was just a good day. It felt, it's, just, it's weird, man. This, Sport. Like, tomorrow will be a totally different day, but today I woke up feeling like you're on, right? In the, in, the, in the flow state. I can't explain what the flow state is. It's just like when you're on, everything's working. Today happened to you in those days, so I knew backstage warm up. When we were warming up, my trying to get me warm up, I was like, no, I'm good. We're fine. I'm ready to rock. It was real minimal, really low. And so, so do you not get the nerves anymore? That didn't tonight. Really? Yeah, it didn't tonight. First time? First time tonight was, was like the first time. I, mean, I was just joking the time. This is my last fight, guys. Like I used to all the time. <laughs> <laughs> That's my back, but tonight I was I'm good. I feel, I feel great. Been here. I've like, been here three times longer than anybody. I've done this more than anybody on the top level. What are you scared of? What do you look yourself in the mirror? What are you What, what are you talking about? Why is what's, you've been here forty times? So yeah. Now can we talk about the fight? Uh, you did, um, 
land some shots on sure. you. Sure. Uh, fucking right hand right out the gate. Did, did uh, any of that uh, phase you and uh, say, oh, I have to worry about his power? Or were you just keeping calm in the initial uh, output that he put out? Definitely keeping calm, but I was like, oh, okay, let's reel it in and, and he is dangerous. Let's, let's not just overlook this kid, right? Yeah, so um, he coming right away out the gate and uh, you know, I guess they know you can't get me with the slow start shit anymore, right? <laughs> And you know, also in the clinch, um, it was one of the rare times that uh, I saw somebody actually answer back with knees. Uh, right. Can you talk about you know uh, his Muay Thai? Yeah, I knew. How you um, I wanted to elbow him, so I wasn't really concerned about his knees. When he was kneeing me. Uh, it wasn't that. No, it wasn't yeah. not powerful. At all. I was just allowing, I was allowing him to do it, try to create space where I'm throwing an elbow. Yeah, yeah. especially think, on the break. So you were catching him on the break. So when at, uh, at the finish, uh, you know, were you going for that knockout? Yes, kick? I was. I was waiting for the kicks. I wanted to like wrestle him, slow him down. I figured he was going to anticipate low kicks the whole fight, and try and counter over top. So I was waiting for him to slow down and get tired. And I heard his corner sit. Watch out, the right head's coming right as I threw it. I was like, oh, you guys are good. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, that's cool. So um, after the contentious week, you feel almost good to draw blood early on? No. I don't have any hard feelings. No animosity, no no hard feelings. I don't wish harm on him. You know, he's just young and was just talking at his ass, saying, you know, nothing wrong. I didn't feel bad. Or wanted, I didn't want to hurt him. I just... Fighting good with a little. Got any plans for a post fight celebration? Oh, uh, we're going cave diving next weekend. <laughs> no, yeah. Uh, Leonard Garcia's fighting bare knuckle fucking uh, fight. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, I'm going down there and watching. And uh, so, we'll be there for a week, week and a half. And uh, I'll be cave diving. So, really excited. Awesome. Going back to the same cave. Yeah. Please be careful. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's <laughs> the same cave. Yeah. Is that it's, it's a badass cave. <laughs> yeah. so, uh, going back in. <laughs> uh, new dive partner, though. It's okay. <laughs> Dude, uh, since we know you chased that belt, what do you think of that new belt this week? It's, oh, it's, man, it's cool. I, I love I love that. That's what I was telling the team. Is you guys did an awesome job of designing this new belt. And like in these rare rubies, get the you know you don't. Unfortunately, you don't get a new belt every time. Right now. Uh, I've never had one. They try to give me tips. I say, oh, I can't touch that. I think that's bad luck or something yeah. like that. Yeah. So uh, it's good. Looks sleek. I'm excited to get one. This was your second fight coming up and seeing your son out there. Same feeling as the first? Yeah, man. It's, it's like a primal feeling, man. It's nothing I've ever felt. It's so cool. Even like Alex was pacing, I'd see my son. I'd watch him and then I'd see my son. I'd watch him and I'd see my son. I'm like, Fuck, pay attention, you know? Like, it was just crazy. You said you have uh, three or four more years left in fighting, and you know you talked about a bad or a tougher weight cut. And as you age, you know weight cuts get a little bit harder. Uh, do you see yourself staying at one fifty five? Oh yeah, oh yeah, I do. These guys at seventy are so big, man. They're they're doing exactly what I'm doing. Fifty five coming down like two, like man, this Darren Till. Yeah, fuck, I didn't know who he was. Right? He was like, let me show you check and who the fuck I am, cowboy. Yeah, big boy, and uh, they hit hard. The bigger. So I feel good, but I, I've hired a, like a private chef that lives at the ranch now. Um, we've been killing all on him. I have like turkeys and pigs, and I just bought four bison <laughs> from Buffalo. And um, it was set up a huge bug butcher shop. We're going literally from farm to table, so I know exactly where the meat is. It's really cool, man. Um, so not just camp, he's with you full time? Full time now, yeah, right? So it's really cool. Um, Trying to keep the weight down, cooking for the baby, you know, pureeing all his food. We have like, you know, it's all organic and grown right there. So all his food, not from the store, it's pureed and pureed, pureed. pureed yeah. Yeah. So uh, it's cool. Do you have any thoughts about Fernandez's upside? You guys, you know, they make mistakes, they grow. Like you were in there with him. Maybe you're passing at this point, but I was wondering like, what do you think, like, where he'll go? Oh, uh, yeah. He was, what was his rank? He was in the top 10, 11, yeah. something. You know, he's a stud. He's going to come back. He's going to be great. I, the whole, I was like thinking, like, man, I was you that. I was you once. <laughs> I was you. Um, yeah, he's not going to go anywhere, man. It's not like he's just going to be like, God, oh, fuck this. I'm out of here. No, he's, uh, he's going to go work on a couple of things. And uh, I bet he's in the top rankings for the rest of his career, man. He's a little stud, man. He only had this his third fight. Right, fight. That's I'm a hell of a fight fighting the first fight. I think <laughs> yeah. he didn't think so, but I think so. <laughs> I, think, I think he thinks so now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think he thinks so now. Yeah, well, you've done yourself before. before. How hard is it to sit here and not be any time, any body, anywhere right now? How does it hold that back? Um, well, 
being were the newfound goal that I want, right, to get this belt, I can't be that guy anymore. I can't. I want to go after top five. So if next week they say, hey, man, somebody got hurt, Cal, you want to feel it? I'm going to go like, oh, what's his ranking? No. <laughs> no. Sorry, I can't. So that's going to be the issue, man. And I sat down with my team and we talked about it and we're going to do it. We had Ally and Quinta here earlier campaigning for the Connor fight as well, but saying he would be willing to fight Tony Ferguson. Um, if Connor takes more time with the suspension or anything, would you be interested in fighting out? Oh, sure. Anyway. It doesn't matter. Top eight, hopefully top five. Whoever those guys are, I don't even know. That's what's even more fucked about because I couldn't even tell you who's in there. But those are who I want. Right? So, uh, top eight, top five for sure. That's what Kevin wants. One last thing. If you add up uh, all the fights from UFC, WC, Pride, and Strike Force, you have more wins than any other fighter ever. 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 <laughs> you beat Big Boy Phil, who's at 28. Wow. Joe, you hear that? <laughs> if you add up every fight, we have the most fights out of any fighter ever. No, no, no. Most <laughs> wins. <laughs> they all sound the same. You have more wins in UFC, WC, Pride, Strike Force, that super continuum, uh, than any other fighter. Uh, Bengal Silva had 27, you have 28. That makes you number one all the time. Hey, thank you guys. Thank you guys. Thank you, Cowboy. Thank you, Cowboy.